when I got off the bike, I was a little bit nervous. But I would say at about three miles in, when I heard the lead was falling and I still saw Rasmus, and I felt like my core temperature, I got it under control. I was, I would say at three miles in, I was, I thought I had it. <laughs> you know, I mean, you're never sure, but I thought that someone was gonna have to have a pretty special day to take it from me. You know, I mean, I think it's, every win in Ironman is big. You know, I think it's big to come in you know, and finally crack that. You know, they say the the boys run to the boys run 250, the men run 240s. You know, come and finally break under that 250 barrier, pretty solidly. 246 high, you know, is a solid run. I think people are going to take a little bit of notice of that. You know, to have a good swim without a wetsuit, you know, is a challenge. I think swimming has always been my weak suit, uh, and uh, you know, have a, another strong ride and to show that, you know, if you're gonna if you're gonna take a risk and put it out there on the bike. You know, it's a big risk. You know, if you're gonna, you're, you, you're rolling the dice if you think you're gonna outride me and hang on for the run. Sort of suss this out. You know, I know. Yeah, I think some folks know we have to do an Ironman if you want to do Kona. So to sort of feel this out. You know, I like to come back and do this next year. Sort of, I think, hopefully, set me up to make my first trip to Kona next fall. Um, you know, I think uh, once I sort of felt like I got under that 250 barrier, I think I'm ready to go run with the big boys. How was your fitness level today compared to what it was at Arizona 2011? You know, I think it was a lot better. I think I, I learned a lot. I think uh, coming after IT Long Course Worlds, I really kind of messed up the two weeks in between. You know, this time I knew that I was fit, and I think I was really able to sort of, you know, keep the hammer cocked. And, you know, I think I really kind of blew out my, my race for Arizona in the, in the weeks between Long Course Worlds and Arizona. And, you know, coming off Wildflower two weeks ago, I was determined not to make that same mistake. and and to really just be super conservative, you know? And I didn't have any workouts in between where I was like, where I really pushed the pace and it was all about just sort of, you know, I know that I, you know, had I think the seventh, fa seventh fastest time in wildflower history. I knew the fitness was there, so I didn't have to prove it to myself, you know? And so it's just about being confident in those two weeks and just just being ca cautious and careful and. And I think ultimately I show that I'm not, uh, you know, sort of fool me once, shame on me, fool me twice, you know, shame on me. So I think, you know, I, I made a mistake in between Arizona and Long Course Worlds last year. You know, I showed I didn't make that same mistake in the two weeks between Wildflower and this race.